I was kind of researching a bunch of different AR-10s and M308s on YouTube, and it seems like that everybody that's doing a 38, 308 build is making them for like super long range sniper rifles. And don't get me wrong, they are, a, it's a great round for that purpose, but I kind of wanted to do things different. I wanted to do one that was from 500 yards or less, but it's built for speed, lightweight, and accuracy as well. So I wanted to do one that was a little bit different. It's going to be like a three gun ready one. I've seen a couple of the three gun 308s from like Armalite or um, Wilson Combat and they're over $3,000. So I was like, I wonder if we could beat that and do something for less than $2,000. So to get this build started, Aero Precision has kindly donated this flat dark earth, 16 inch up, uh, M5 E1 upper with a bead blasted stainless steel barrel, 16 inches in length. With that, they've also donated their CNC lower receiver. Now this thing is pretty awesome and it's got some unique features about it that I haven't really seen on many lower receivers. I'm sure it's out there, I just haven't seen it. They've also, we also have their nickel boron bolt carrier group. You guys remembered how much I loved it for the 5.56 on our AR pistol. So I went with it again on the 308. Also, they've given us the Geisley Automatics SD33G flat trigger. And this is made for three gun shooting. And since I wanted to do a three gun worthy build, we needed a really good trigger, so Air Precision sent us the Geisley Automatics SD3G trigger. We also have the VG6 Gamma that's made for the 7.62 round. That should help us keep the recoil down. They've also sent out their lower parts kit, their flip-up iron sights, Oh, and the lower, their enhanced lower parts kit comes with the Magpul Mo Plus grip. They sent us a carbine buffer system because this is a carbine length gas system that is on this. And the Magpul STR stock. I wanted this stock because, well, one, the typical 308 stocks are really big and are like 200 and something dollars and they're just not meant for shooting fast and quick target acquisition. So they sent us the Magpul STR, and this I think will serve great for either shooting from a bipod or running and gunning. Also, Abital, or Atabal, I'm sorry, sent us their new XP8 illuminated 1x8 scope. This thing is pretty freaking sweet, has a nice little lever here that you can quickly adjust the zoom on it. I wanted this scope because it is designed for three gunners. They also included this really awesome quick detach mount right here for so you can put it on and take it off as you please. Now this scope, it does have the bullet drop compensation hash marks, but we're not gonna be using it for that. Um, the hash marks are calibrated for a 62 grain 5.56. We're not using it for that. We're using it for the illuminated reticle in the middle and then if we start trying to reach out, maybe we can find a way to compensate for those hash marks, but we'll find out. Also guys, for the tools, oh yeah, one more thing. Strike Industries donated us a flat dark earth cover 
and their AR-10 charging handle. So we're gonna try these out and see how we like those as well. Moving on. I've been, I've been doing some work with Fog Ammo lately. And so they've been really kind enough to send us 100 rounds of their 308 Winchester um, bullets. Um, I have not fired these. They're 168 grain AMAX from Hornady. Uh, they have the Hornady bullets. And I've been working with Fog Ammo and their owners. And so they were cool enough to not only provide this ammunition, but to also give you guys a coupon code. If you use the coupon code TNT, like the explosives, TNT, they'll give you $10 off a $150 or more order. Now, that's actually a pretty good deal because they are a family-owned business and they got a lot of overhead. So thank you to Fog Ammunition for sending out your ammo. So the tools we're gonna to be using today, um, I'm gonna be using this Wheeler Hammer and Punch Set, which has brass punches, steel punches. Um, it has a little brass and nylon tipped hammer. We're also gonna be using some Allen wrenches. Then we're gonna be using a quarter inch clevis pin to help us put that front pivot pin in. We're gonna be using a DPMS armorer's wrench. We're gonna be using a nylon vice block. Um, this one's actually made for an AR-15, but I'm gonna rig it so it'll fit the lower receiver of an AR-10. Then we're also gonna be using these magnetic um, nylon vice blocks. This will help secure the barrel when we want to install the VG6 Gamma. So anyways guys, just a big shout out to Aero Precision, Abital, Atabal Optics, Fog Ammunition, Geisley Automatic, Strike Industries, Magpul, all of these guys for providing all of the tools necessary, all of the parts to make this 308 three gun ready AR-10 a possibility for you guys. So let's get started in the next video. We're gonna build the lower.